Here is how you download Fortnite iOS in or outside of the EU. This video will be split into two parts. The first will be for users inside of the EU. If you're outside of the EU, skip to this part of the video, which is shown on screen. So if we are in the EU, we first need to open settings, then select general, then select about. If you have an iPad, you need to be running iPadOS 18 or newer. If you only see iPadOS 17 in your software update, iPadOS 18 is still in beta. I'll have my beta download tutorial in the description. If you own an iPhone, you need to be running iOS 17.4 newer. iOS 17.6 or newer is recommended. Now head to your general settings and then scroll all the way down until you see language and region. Under region, this needs to be set to your EU country. In my case, I've set this to Germany. Next, open the app store, tap your profile at the top right, then tap on your Apple ID. Under country and region, make sure this is set to your correct country. If not, you can tap on this one and it will give you the option to change your country. This is a mandatory step. Finally, we need to have downloaded any app from the app store in the past 30 days. Don't download an app with the cloud. Just find any Apple game, doesn't matter. Install it and then we can proceed. Once that is out of the way, we must open the Safari browser. Do not use any other browser. And we will either head to this website right here. You will need to carefully type this one out or this one, which is Alt Store. If you see iOS update required to get around this, we will tap this icon to the left of our search bar. Then we will tap the triple dots and we want to request a mobile website. If this loads and we have the install option, great. If not, either update to the latest version of iOS or use the alt store, tap get alt store and then tap the download for alt store pal and download one more time. Alt store pal and Epic Games both have Fortnite. Once we understand this, we'll tap on install and we'll tap install for the Epic Games store. If we see the app installation message, then that's great. Our device thinks we are in the EU. If you see an error message which says cannot install app, remember you have to be physically inside of the EU right now in order to install third party app stores. If you are physically in the EU, then I'd recommend downloading any VPN app and just connecting to an EU server in that VPN app. Once done, we're going to tap on OK and then we're going to open our settings and we will see allow apps from the Epic Games Inc. So we're going to allow apps here. It may say walk with your iPad or it may say something else here. Tap this one. We then see allow games from the Epic Games Inc. And we will allow this one. Now we need to head back to Epic Games. We need to refresh the page and we need to just tap the install option again. So it's loaded the page. We'll tap install. And this time it should give us the install prompt for the Epic Games. You see Epic Games would like to install in that marketplace. We'll just tap install at marketplace. We downloaded Epic Games. Now let's open up the Epic Games store. We will agree. Just tap to install Fortnite. Wait for this prompt to appear and tap install app and our Fortnite will download on your home screen. Open it, it's plug and play. If you downloaded Alt-Store Power, tap sources, add the recommended source, then download Fortnite. If we are outside of the EU, you will notice I have Fortnite. This is only possible with side loading as Apple has blocked any way to side load Fortnite by tricking your device to thinking it's in the EU. I'll first show a safe and legal method. I'll cover alternate arrangements at the end of the video. Head to the developer.apple.com website, sign in with your Apple ID. If this is the first time, tick this box, click no, and then click submit to enter the Apple developer portal. We now need to join the Apple developer program. This is a paid subscription this is mandatory to sideload Fortnite as we need to add special entitlements. Once you're enrolled on the Apple developer website, we will see the program resources. Under the certificates, IDs and profiles, we want to click on the identifiers. On this screen where it says identifiers, 
we're going to click on plus we will see register a new identifier click the app ids and then click on continue make sure app is selected then click continue again under description we'll call this fortnite ios then under capabilities we're going to scroll all the way down and where it says extended virtual addressing we need to tick this one now scroll down again and tick where it says the increased memory limit once this is done scroll to the very top under bundle id set this to explicit and we need to type out a bundle id i'd recommend typing com.fortnite.ios.sideload whatever you type in here doesn't matter just make sure it has dots make sure you remember it for later now click the continue button and then click register to register the app id now head to the sideloady website and scroll all the way down and we need to download the sideloady app this is for mac and windows if you have a windows computer you will also need to download itunes and icloud you would then need to restart your computer macbooks do not need to do any of this we now need to download fortnite i recommend searching on google Fortnite decrypted IPA Reddit and look through Reddit. When an update for Fortnite comes out, you have to repeat this process. Look for the most recent Reddit post to get the updated IPAs. Downloading the Fortnite IPA from Google is legal because the Fortnite game itself is completely free. So we're not committing piracy. Now open up Sideloadly and connect your device to the computer. If you have a Mac, you will need to allow the connection, unlock your iPhone or iPad, and tap the trust button when you see it. Now under iDevice, if it says Apple Silicon, click on this one, and you want to select your iPad or iPhone, make sure it says at USB. Where it says IPA, click on the IPA, and then look for the IPA file you downloaded earlier. You can also drag and drop the IPA if you would like. Now click on the advanced options and where it says use automatic bundle ID, untick this one and copy and paste that identifier we created earlier. So I'll copy this one and I'll paste it. We see com.fortnite.ios.sideload. This is extremely important. Then enter in your Apple ID login. Sideloadly is open source. This is my personal Apple ID and I trust it. Then click start to install Fortnite. Enter in your password and the two factor code. Then Fortnite will now be on your iPad. Once you've sideloaded Fortnite, when we try and open it, we see developer mode is required. So in order to get past this, we're going to first open our settings, then scroll all the way down until you see privacy and security. Then scroll down again and look for the developer mode option. Select this one and then tap the toggle to turn on developer mode and then tap the restart to turn on the developer mode. It would then say ready to enable. So swipe up to continue and then tap the enable option and now developer mode will be enabled. Once done, you'll be able to open up Fortnite and enjoy. You'll have to do this every single time a new Fortnite update releases. If you aren't willing to use the paid Apple developer account, there are websites which exist which claim to be able to do this. What I'll do is I'll leave this video in the description by a YouTuber called Golden. This other method is still paid, but it costs $20 a year. It's not as reliable as having the Apple developer account. Because we need those entitlements from a developer account, there is no way to sideload Fortnite completely free, especially as Apple patched the method, which is in the video on screen. When loading up Fortnite, you may notice you may not have the 120 FPS option. If you don't have it, I'll have a video in the description on how to enable the 120 FPS.